well for the turns to the squad as well. Uh, and Andy Monk, importantly, getting his first uh, game back. A, a lot of you is quite like watching Andy Monk when he came on for his debut and obviously went off injured. Mm -hmm. So, um, we're looking forward to seeing how he does today as well, Mark. Yep, hopefully he'll show up the way he did in his debut because he looked an impressive player. Fingers crossed. There's plenty of attacking talent in there despite the fact that... That should be a bit better, isn't it? There we go. Yeah. I was uh, awfully quiet at the start. <laughs> was it just yours or both of you? It's just me. It's maybe for the best. You can hear me prattle on at the start, folks, let's be honest. Bye, welcome in, gents. Uh, I just went uh, I just went through the names there, so I'll run them through again. We've got Ryan, we've got Dez, a sort of Joe Cooper's Costas is in. Greens from Greece, welcome in. Worldwide crowd again. So yeah, we're just waiting for the, the referee to come out and get proceedings underway. BSE back in the usual yellow kit, still Keith wearing the black. The ref's just looking to make sure we're ready to rumble. For some reason, one of the Dalty players thinks he's playing Aussie rules because he's put his sleeves right up. <laughs> and away we go. Another BSE live Saturday here for you. Um, and we might have a bit of vis visibility issues for while you're sitting for this goal. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Um, you'll notice on the camera if the ball goes towards BSC's goal, there is a dugout in the way, but we've done as best we can, basically, with uh, the situation we're in. The corner is slightly obscured on the left as well, but hopefully you'll be able to see most, if not all, of the game here. That is Christy and Jamie Glasgow. There you go. So Glasgow and Christy both on the bench if we need them. Yeah, Having said that, Ross players. Lyons just found Andy Monk. Andy Monk's got a chance straight go away. On, go on. One and one with the keeper. Oh! And it's cleared off, pretty much off the line by Dalkeith, but promising start there for BSE. Would have been some return for Andy Monk. Jade dropping an F, we're back. We're all right, we're back. If any of you can hear me but know the picture, just refresh your stream. We should be fine now, folks. Is it Dalkeith get a chance there? Bit a scrappy one, but Davy Wilson batting goals. Managed to hold on here. That'll keep Ben's not happy with the decision. And Ross Lindsay this time taking down, but again, no foul. It was a good ball forward. Oh, Ooh. and Wilson had it covered. There was a decent attempt at though. And just a, just a warning shot there that we can't take it easy here. Uh, Jamie Mills brings it forward. Hamilton now inside to Mills again. It's good football from BSC if Lyon can get him that. And he can, he'll get a crossover. And it's put behind for a corner. Yeah, we don't talk about last week, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a ball in now. Back post. Fitzpatrick inside. Go on. Yeah! And it falls to Andy Monk. And that makes it Dalkey Thistle no BSC Glasgow 1. I don't know, you're explaining because how varied the Challenge Cup fixtures can be. That's the sort of results you can expect. Yeah, expect unexpected, which is why we're obviously happy to take the lead here. Getting into the back post. Jamie oh, Hamilton. Oh. Monk. Monk. Yes! <laughs> and compare to the first one. That was a wee bit too easy in the end. <laughs> keeper, um, keeper didn't get any protection when Jamie Hamilton got that free kick from Andy Gagan. Did what he could with it, went straight to Andy Monk. Was, he's not going to get an easier goal all season, is he? Definitely, no. I mean, that could have been just a tap-in, but he felt necessary to smash <laughs> it into the back of the net. Yeah, as you've seen with teams like Kelty and Bowness coming into the Lowland League, it shows the talent that they've got in East of Scotland. Jamie Mills trying to get in behind, well defended. Ross Lindsay hurdles it, Jamie Hamilton. Lindsay, eh, sorry, Lyon. And that's through for Andy Monk, who's onside. Oh, almost got his hat trick. And he has <laughs> his hat trick from a ridiculously acute angle. He collects the rebound and somehow has managed to steer it in. So, Dalkey Thistle now, BSE Glasgow 3, and it's all one way traffic. Yep. Especially so many two, week, two game a week yeah. kind of scenarios at the minute. That's a great ball for Ross Lindsay if he's onside, and he is. Go on, Ross. McCracken through Ross Lindsay. Can he square it? He can. It's going to come go through to Lyon. Go on. Yes! And there is a fourth goal for BSC. Crank finish, took his time, didn't he panic. Found his spot at the back corner of the net, and that makes it Dalkey Thistle nil, 
BSC Glasgow 4. Do not adjust your Twitch channel. That is the <laughs> scoreline. He's got strength to the bun. Here he goes. Takes his time. Goes again. And muscles his man. Up. Still go. I, I mean, he, he, lo he loves a step over even when there's no call for a step <laughs> over. Uh, Jamie Mills now. <laughs> and Jamie Hamilton, who also likes a wee pirouette every so often, but flicks out. Mills, cross. Oh, oh. And it's going to be for sure. again. Yes! <laughs> and Donut Donny, I need to give you credit in the chat here because you predicted us as we head towards half time, it is Dalky Thistle no. BSC Glasgow 5. What a call that was for Donut. Yeah, I think that'll Keith will be glad just to go in there at 5 now. <laughs> Get regrouped and go I, again. I actually had to think if it was 4 or 5 now. <laughs> There's been that many goals I'm struggling to keep up. Here's Jamie Glasgow's first touch. And his second will be a ball forward to McCracken. And that brings us there we go. to half time where the scoreline looks pretty good in our favour. Down Keith, now BSC Glasgow five. There he is. You are now on camera, Martin. Please do not swear. I'll try my best. And we've not broken any equipment, so that's always a positive. Michael's in with us as well. Sorry, social you distancing. I just been there. I'll be you. Sorry, I said Mark. Tall. I should know better. <laughs> <laughs> so five now, half time. Pretty good. Yeah, I mean. To be honest, at 2-0, I thought it was slightly against the run of play. Yeah. Um, I thought Del Keith had the... Honestly, George, come on, don't be like that. <laughs> no, like, a wee bit against the run of play. Del Keith had the, the better things in the first 10 minutes, and then... And then that happened, so just, what can you say? Just clinical, maybe. We didn't make too many chances other than the ones we've taken, to be honest. No, absolutely not. And I think, like, as harsh as it's been on Shea Dowie, I think he's actually performed quite well. I think yeah. his defence have let him down a couple of times. Just rebounds and things have just fallen nicely for us, so... And I think, to be fair, it looks like we've basically won the midfield battle. They've lost most of the kind of scrambles in there when we've got the ball back. The ball over the top's been lethal, basically. Absolutely, yeah. Andy Gagan's looking imperious. Like, he looks absolutely the player you kind of hope that he would be. Like, a lot of the time this season, he's been kind of deployed a wee bit more destructively, shall we yeah. say. Like, he's had to kind of sweep up things, and he's getting a chance to really showcase what he can do here. So it's absolutely brilliant. Cammy, can you do me a favour and pass on my phone so I can see what people are saying? Thanking you. Live TV, you got to love it. Uh, <laughs> not bad, only the five goals. We'll see if we get more second half, don't it? Well, I mean, the sort of... like I hate to jinx us, but the sort of... The sort of precedent has been that we go quite a few goals up and then sit... Like, not sit yeah. back in the second half, but we kind of just take it a wee bit... Take it a wee bit easier in the second, so we'll see what happens, well, but... You'd think the main thing now for Swifty would be get away without any further injuries. Alfie's obviously just going off... Um, we want to kind of keep the squad as healthy as possible with the game's coming up. Absolutely, so yeah. So you'd um, probably take 5-0 full-time and get away without any more scrapes. I think so, yeah. Um, I mean, the thing is that you have to feel like Dalkeith have had had moments where I'm not necessarily saying they're going to come back and score five goals, but you've seen <laughs> you've seen worse happen. So you can see the 40 of Ella Leithen, to be fair, so you never know. Well, yes, we did do that, didn't we? That was a day. <laughs> You Sorry, that was nine out of ten goals because of Barry. Yeah. Was that? <laughs> Sorry, that was just I was having a sort of Nam flashback there. <laughs> um, aye, uh, I mean it is possible, but I think I think there's a lot of boys out there in the starting eleven today that kind of want to prove themselves as yeah, well. Definitely. So, you know, they want a bag of goal. I'm fully expecting to tweet Jamie Mills from forty yards because <laughs> this is his one of the season. I'm feeling it today. Oh, that's a bold, bold prediction for Jamie Mills to score there. Yeah, well, what I figured is I'm not going to have to come back on at full time and justify <laughs> what I said, so... We'll haul him up in front of you. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't speak English, sorry. <laughs> um, one of the thoughts here, as Dalkey Stamina's might drop in the second half, you've got a feeling BSC will score more goals. Yep. I mean, I can't, can't really fault that logic. I mean, they've not got many bodies on the bench either. Though, Keith, they're quite no, they've low got on four bodies, on the they? bench, and they've had quite a few. They've had quite a few injuries going forward. I think, and they've lost a few folk for their squad. So, I mean, I think it's like I think, sort of broadly speaking, it's really a struggle for a lot of teams this season because 
obviously there are a lot of folk who don't want to play and safety concerns and a lot of folk who don't want to play because a lot of teams aren't able to offer the money, if any money, that they were able to offer last season. So a lot of teams are struggling for numbers. I mean, I think we're lucky that we've got quite a big squad and we're able yeah. to call on, you know, that's seven changes we made today. So that's been brilliant. But You want to switch out more and get a Jake on? Do I look cold? You're shivering. <laughs> <laughs> It is, a, it is a bit. It is a bit chilly. I will. I'll roll my sleeves down. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Half time break over. The referee and linesman have just emerged after a Dalth Keith player went and battered the door and said, "Hurry up!" And that is a true story, by the way. <laughs> Strain obviously keen to get this game over and done with. So we go into the second half. Dalth Keith now BSC five, and we're off and away. Good ball forward. Jamie Mills was Just there. Just couldn't find the bandy Gagan still there. Are they going to clear it? They're still trying to play out for the back, though, Keith, and credit to them, but it hasn't really worked for them so far. This might be the first time, though. And they're in behind. He's onside as well. McCracken trying to cover. Cuts inside. He's got oh. space. Oh. I Went don't think so. Bit too easy. Yeah. McCracken didn't go out his way to block him off, he just stood his ground. No, you're never going to get a penalty when he just stands his no. ground, are you? Right, here we go, off and away again. That one's going to leak through. Here's a chance for Dalkeith again. It's Oh, he's given a dive. He's given a dive. I was going to say, it did look like it was just a kind of classic yeah, shoulder to shoulder. Like there was that much in it, but as you might have heard for the Dal Keith subs, they're thinking just nothing's going their way. Line of Fitzpatrick exchanging passes. Louis Bell out to Good Monk. Pass. Monk's come out the right now and finds Glasgow down the, down the sideline. He's going to keep that ball. Is anyone in the middle for it? Breaks for Louis Bell. Louis. Louis Bell. Oh. And it turned into a pass. <laughs> <laughs> it turned into a pass to Jamie Hamilton who ran it out of play in the end after trying to jink past his defender but Louis, Louis Bell looks a little bit embarrassed <laughs> and we're making a triple sub so Gagan now standing over this free kick to the back post it's straight up in here Fitzpatrick brings it down Hamilton is he going to cut his side no he's back in there he goes he's still got it he stances inside, exchanges passes for Lindsay. Go on. Smashes it across, oh. and Declan Fitzpatrick couldn't quite get there. It's been put out for a corner. <laughs> Hamilton with the corner. Back post. Go Fitzpatrick oh. saved. Yeah. And Ross Lindsay smashes it home. So that makes it Dalkey Thistle, no BSC Glasgow 6. Bit of a scrappy one. The keeper did well actually save that. Yeah, well, I, it header. Like, I didn't know if it was a deflection of the goalie, but it was a decent save. But nothing could be done at that range. Yeah, and Ross Lindsay used to come as a deflection, but it was pretty much on the line as it was, so it was always going in, wasn't it? Louis Bell took a knock there when he went in for that challenge. BSC don't have any subs left, so hoping he can run that off as does Christy goes down the right. Go on. Squares it. Back post. And I <laughs> thought that might have sneaked in at the back for Jamie Glasgow. It's, it's not what he's known for. Kind of powerfully heading the ball, but just just went wide. I think sometimes as well, the pitch isn't exactly working in my favour. <laughs> oh. And he's onside here, Christy. Glasgow's in the middle onside as well. But Christy takes his time, stands up his man, wins it. Can he get it across now? Left foot, back post, McBrearty! Oh. And a foul's been given against him for jumping unfairly with his man. Daz Christie cuts inside. Looks for Ross Lindsay. Exchanges He's passes. Daz in. Oh, oh, and it's hit the side then on the wrong side. Fair point of view. Great move for BSC once again. Just didn't quite happen. Oh. And with that, the referee bang on the 45 minute mark has brought this game to a close. 
Well, it seems like your call about no injury minutes was spot on. Yeah, he's he's obviously keen to go and get his warm bath when he gets in. You can't blame them. <laughs> it's it's get frosty here in Dalkeith. Good day, the office. Superb. Very few, if any, complaints. Can't ask for much more than that. A game of football, can we? Nope. It's exactly that's exactly what we said last Saturday after the Gala game. This was the game that we needed to just try and refresh us, give us a bit more confidence, have a bit of fun in the park, and more importantly, get a good result. And you can't ask for a bit. Well, you can't ask for a better result. But we're going to get greedy. <laughs> but you can't ask for better than six 0 Do you know what I mean? No, not at all. Not at all. And, um, I think more than the scoreline, it was the manner of the way the way we played. We were totally controlled every aspect of the game. Keepers not had a single save really to make. Um, up front, we took our chances when they came. And I, one one we knocked for Alfie that hopefully isn't too serious. Other than that, mm-hmm. we're getting away healthy as well. Yep. Hopefully, because Andy Monk coming back in for his injury is a massive deal because that's yep. only his second game. And look at the impact he's made yep. just across two games. So the fact that Tierney was having some minor issues, we can't really afford to have a man as well having other issues. So that's the main worry going into the next couple of games but mm. hopefully you know hopefully all is well you mentioned the next couple of games here as well we'll be live on Wednesday night next for East Stirlingshire at home and then Saturday away at Edinburgh University we'll bring you as well next week but the Wednesday game is massive now going into that for us I imagine there'll be a few changes back to what we'd think would be the strongest first team Swifties thinking of anyway but it's proper six pointer isn't it yep. well because like you said it's Probably a big deal that he's rested some players and he's took players off because he will need to think hard about who he's going to start on Wednesday night. But, you know, even before the Gal Shields game, Shire's always a big game. It's a massive opportunity to go against people who are going to be in the top four. But since we've lost last weekend, it's a bigger game. You know what I mean? We Absolutely. can't afford uh, to be able to drop many points. Uh, can Cammy, can you do me a favour and pass the phone over so I can see what folk are saying? Hopefully none bad. <laughs> right, I'll get some of your guys' comments as well just before we, we finish up. Let's see it. Um, obviously, if you've got any kind of different ideas of man in the match, give us a shout. I'll jump over here. I think so. I'll speak to you. Welcome in, Gaff. How are you doing, all right? Well, pretty good after that. Good day at the office, wasn't good. it? Good. Uh, it was a good start, I think. It's, it's always difficult when you come to places like this and you kind of get into your flow because mm. of the pitch, but getting an, an early goal kind of settles the nerves um, and then obviously adding to it straight after it. Um, I think the damage was done the first half Yeah. Um, and, and it was just damage limitations for them, but um, probably if you're going to be hypercritical, you could say that we didn't punish them enough second half, but it always happens, doesn't it? Always yeah, fizzles yeah. out. But well, well, big message to the boys at the start of the week was we need to um, kind of emphasise and doing better first half, um, and they've done that, so I can't really complain. And then, obviously, Andy Monk coming back, impressing, getting his three goals. Yep. And what were your thoughts on his performance? Aye, I mean, Andrews had a bit of bad luck in respect that he came on against Albeit in the first game of the season and he done really well. Um, then pulled his hamstring. Yep. Then had a, a problem with, with illness. Um, so, for him to come back and get a, a good hour was, was, was good for the squad. Um, and to get a hat-trick was, was good for him personally as well. And it will do the world a good for his confidence. But we just need to um, kind of build them through this period where we, we can't maybe expect too much where mm. we're throwing him in game after game because he's had that hamstring injury as I said and the illness but um, he's a young boy and he's, he's shown a uh, huge promise. And only from what I could tell one real injury worry off of that Alfie's uh, not quite his How's that looking? Yeah, I think he's, he's rolled his ankle a wee bit, Lindsay, so we just need to um, watch that. I'm, I'm hoping he can be still available for, for Tuesday night. He's that um, different option, um, but we'll just need to gauge it over the next couple of days how the ankle swells up. Mm. And then I guess the only other thing is, obviously, looking ahead to this week, it's a big, big week with East Stirlingshire um, midweek and then yeah. Edinburgh. You know, it's now away at Edinburgh as well, isn't it? Yeah, so, um, kind of ideal preparation for a big couple of games. Yeah, like I say, is it gives, gives a Boys' confidence. Um, every game's big. When you when you're wanting to kind of go and challenge and do the best you can, every day's big. You uh, you can't um, you can't slip up. And East Stirling have proven over the years that they're real difficult opponents, and we'll expect nothing different. And uh, Wednesday night, and as you mentioned, Edinburgh Uni um, away will be a tough match as well. So they're all they're all huge. They're all important. So the boys know this, and I think it's a good day to show the size of our squad yeah. um, <laughs> and how much uh, kind of rotation we've got in it, and the boys that come in done their job. So it was a, a good day all round. We're through to the next round. Mm. Well, that's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah. Job done. 
Happy with job, that. Job done. Fruit in the next round and we move on to a big week. Absolutely. Thanks very much. Again Brilliant. for your time. No worries. That'll bring us to an end here as well. Michael, just got <laughs>